firstly i started crying like i was alone and i started crying alone only and then my mother came and she said why are you crying then then i told her she said is it a thing to cry though she herself was crying so then i came so then i went to my father and my grandmother my uncle so since i live in a joint family so i told everyone then everyone was very very happy hello everyone my name is ajay and welcome back to our channel we have akshata here today uh, she secured all india rank 36 in esc 2021 what's more exciting is that uh, she graduated in 2021 Yes, she graduated in 2021 and she got All India Ring 36 in Engineering Services Exam 2021. So, congratulations, Sakshita, for such an extraordinary achievement. Thank you, sir. So, how are you doing? Sir, feeling very great. Uh, can you briefly introduce yourself? Sir, so, uh, I am from Prayagraj and I did my B Tech from Kamla Nehru Institute of Technology, Sultanpur. And so, I graduated this year, like you told. And I did my prelims. preparation till prelims i prepared on my own so for after that i did some online classes so before knowing about your preparation journey first tell me this how did you feel when you see your name in the final list so i was very very happy uh, like firstly i saw in the telegram group in uh, where they were the pdf was given that the results are out and there was a photo saying heartiest congratulations in the four toppers Uh, i was very afraid after seeing that then i took 10 minutes i was sitting in a corner in my room i was trying to uh, i was trying to uh, make myself understand that okay even if whatever happens you have to control yourself then after 10 minutes i saw, i thought like i should see it now whatever it is so then uh, i opened the pdf but in i didn't go for searching my name i just went down and i tried to have a guess if i can find it on one go and uh, then i found it there and so then i firstly i started crying like i was alone and i started crying alone only and then my mother came and she said why are you crying then then i told her she said is it a thing to cry though she herself was crying so then i came so then i went to my father and my grandmother my uncle so since i live in a joint family so i told everyone then everyone was very very happy so now tell me why did you choose uh, engineering services exam over other exams like gate or uh, placements so what is the main reason behind that so uh, when i thought of pursuing btech since then only uh, at that time only after 12th when i went for uh, thinking that where can i be being an engineer the highest point where i can be so i thought was through engineering services and so since then only i've decided that i'll prepare for esc only and i won't go for placements so and so then i uh, though there was a thought but i wasn't preparing till then it was from third year only that i started my preparation so the best part here is uh, she is entering the service at a very young age as i have already mentioned uh, she is just entering just right after her btech so that's really a phenomenal job um, you have very good promotion prospects also so you should be really happy for that yes i am very happy for that if you are preparing for gate 2023 prep ladder is offering free courses for ece triple e mechanical civil and computer science if you are from ece you can access the entire digital circuits playlist by shastri sir he is one of the top faculties for digital circuits So these are the different subjects uh, that you can access even if you are from other specializations like mechanical, civil and computer science. You have to use my code AJD to access any of these courses that has well structured video lectures from the dream team. Exam relevant question bank, test series, treasures, past year questions and much more. Treasures are basically revision notes that will help you in your last minute preparations. Since they are a summarized version of essential topics, it will become easier for you to retain a particular topic for a longer duration. So, if you are preparing for GATE 2023, make sure you use these resources properly. This, yeah, you told you started your preparation in third year, right? So, how did you start your preparation? Sir, uh, firstly, like I started from technical subjects only. Uh, there were some lectures and that uh, from some free lectures from online sources. So so I started from there I tried reading uh, some reference books also the standard ones and till 6 months I was in that uh, mode of reading standard books 
but uh, it was after 6 7 months which i wasted then i realized that it was such a big waste of time it wasn't required at all but sir uh, then later at the later phase i didn't commit that same mistake and then i continued with lectures and practicing questions so can you hear that sir uh, online uh, online lectures are much better than uh, reading standard textbooks because it consumes a lot of time how did you go about mains after your prelims so for mains i have joined a co- online classes so before this interview i was checking your marks and i was really surprised that you scored 140 in interview so what do you think uh, might be the reason for such an extraordinary score 140 is really a tremendous score i scored 110 inter- 110 in interview sir uh, say so on the day of the interview so when i went in the the first thing that the chair person sir started saying was sir firstly he asked me about my specs and weight which i have lost so then he started uh, praising me that uh, i was there in my final year only and sir i think for that reason he got very much impressed from me sir like he started saying that it is very rare that we have such young people sitting here and you made it so you might have put in a lot of efforts and then the second thing was sir he asked me a question about what i felt for these two years when i was at home and sir when i said that uh, it was the best time for me or i would say it was it is till now the most memorable time for me then sir he asked it was it memorable how was it memorable like he might be he was expecting me to say it was a bad time but uh, then then when i said that because of those two years being at home only i could prepare so well that i'm sitting here in my first attempt then he said that it is very good to see uh, positive in everything uh, you have a very good attitude so so those positive comments i think worked in my favor and i think one more reason your communication skills are also really good because uh, you are not even trembling at any point of time so that might also sir, be one of the reasons sir, uh, i think so the rounds were also good sir but like three out of the three experts sir uh, two i answered almost every question and the second sir he so he was asking a lot of about substations and very much in depth when he went then i said sorry a number of times and then later i was thinking maybe it wasn't good but when i saw the marks i don't know it was good <laughs> Uh, now let's discuss uh, how did she prepare uh, stage wise prelims mains and interview uh, how did you prepare for prelims for prelims i prepared from whatever online courses were available online free courses and so i went for made easy test series i solved previous year the technical previous year and so for general studies i solved practice questions and so a lot uh, at in the last 2 uh, 3 months I did very rigorous question practice for prelims. Yeah, cool. Uh, so since you have already taken mains classroom coaching, and what about practice? Practice? How did you prepare um, mains answer writing practice? Sir, so that answer writing practice I did through test series. Uh, in made easy mains course, in uh, every Sunday there was a test. So through that only I practice my answer writing. And uh, how many marks you used to get in test series in prelims and mains? How many marks you used to get, uh, and uh, what what would be your ranks? in those mock tests and all sir uh, in test series also sir my main preparation was going very in a very haphazard manner so it wasn't going that smooth sir uh, like since uh, till then till my uh, prelims preparation i never had any coaching neither in my 11 12 nor for my esc prelims preparation for anything i uh, never had any coaching and then when i joined for mains and so long classes it was very big thing for me to uh, to take carry on both the things parallelly my self study and the classes so that started to create a problem for me and which uh, was uh, hitting my marks so for in paper 1 like when i gave the full test sir mains full test so in paper 1 i used to get around 190 or 180 like that the highest which i got was 190 and uh, sir in paper 2 for paper 2 had always been my weak area and i knew it very well that i'm going to get low marks in paper 2 and so so in test series also i used to get like that only 130 140 and rank would be around 30 40 somewhere sometimes it was 20 never more than that 
and one more important question how did you manage stress during preparation because a lot of candidates gets demotivated if they could not um, do well in first or second attempts and even third attempts so how how you used to manage your stress sir uh, like uh, i used to sir talk to myself and i used to motivate myself on my own and my father played a great role in that he motivated me much during throughout the preparation he had so much confidence that in me and like whenever i used to talk to him the the papa mains ka preparation to matlab sahi nahi ho raha like whenever i used to ask ki kaisa chal raha hai taiyari to whenever i used to say ki ऐसे ही चल रहा है बस तो वो कहते थे हमको पता है तुम्हारा हो जाएगा कोई नहीं कोई नहीं मतलब उनका अलग उनका जो कॉन्फिडेंस था वो या वो जब भी स्ट्रेस होता था कि नहीं हो पाएगा या मेंस नहीं हुआ तो क्या करेंगे तो बस यही लगता था कि ठीक है अगर उनको लग रहा है तो कम से कम अपने तरफ से बेस्ट दो अगर अभी से सोच लिया कि नहीं होगा तो फिर तो नहीं होगा इट्स द बिगेस्ट थिंग डीमोटिवेटिंग एट टाइम्स इट यूज टू बी वेन वी सी आर फ्रेंड्स गेटिंग प्लेस्ड और ज्वाइनिंग डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स especially uh, when we are in final year we see people getting placed like it was happening with me when i used to see friends posting getting placed so it was uh, very demotivating us waqt lagta tha ki sab ka ho raha hai aur hum padh hi rahe hain bas to us time pe khud pe faith rakhna padta hai sir ki hoga time lagta hai exam aisa hi time lagega so when did you come across uh, my channel uh, so you were contacting me through telegram right so how did you come across our channel so i saw your video on youtube and there i got your link and when i joined that link then i saw your personal uh, contact and so there i used to ask my doubts regarding interview guidance when you helped me sir so thank you so much akshata for uh, joining me today it was uh, really nice talking to you thank you so much sir for talking to me so that i got this opportunity to tell about myself to the fellow aspirants If you found this video helpful make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon even if you don't do any of these i thank you for watching this video till now take care and i'll see you all in the next video yo yo microphone check make it a microphone check give it a microphone i make the make it a microphone dead don't step to me newbie i can truly be moody i could have played the fucking grinch in the movies i've been a <laughs>